Hello there YouTube. I thought I'd make a short video of all my radio parts before I put them back in the cabinet. Let me turn my scanner down. That's becoming a bad habit. I went through all this stuff today and organized, cleaned, dusted out. And this is how I got a lot of parts out of old circuit boards, TVs, radios, and a solder sucker. They make a spring load of one and I don't like it. I had a soldering iron that had one of these on it where you press down with your thumb as the soldering iron heated. Well, it finally shucked out after over 10 years. It went on the soldering iron, you press it down with your thumb. And it had a special tip on it. I do have all the pieces somewhere. It can be put into another soldering iron if I can find the right model soldering iron, but the element shucked out in it. A lot of junk. I have to go through this yet. This is full of all kinds of bolts and stuff. But all kinds of things I have here. These are called like torn coils. And there's there's pieces that haven't went through. Old style wire wound resistors. Uh, get down here, you've got diodes, little resistors, capacitors, ceramic capacitors, more resistors. These are U, U they go by UH, they're chokes wire wound chokes I like switches out of radios switches knobs uh, here's more chokes bigger ones you put these expanded frequencies older crystal radios and capacitors different sizes just oodles of capacitors this size uh, one that's got big ones in it here's like little variable resistor circuit boards where you turn stuff up and down like meter adjustments and power and stuff that circuit board you'll see them starting a little LED collection I have some put away somewhere these are different type, types some of these are called like mica these are all like power finals out of radios there could be some antique ones in here out of old CB radios radios that didn't work but the finals were still good uh, Pilot lamps. These are called pilot lamps. Put 12 volt bulbs in them. They can be converted to LED use. There's enough room in these to convert these to LED. There's plenty of room down in this socket. I can flip one up. There's plenty of room in these sockets so you can convert these to LED. You could probably cram three or four of these in here. Square ones even. Uh, stuff like this. All this stuff is like antenna connections and jacks. You go down here, this is more like mic connectors and power connectors, like where your cords plug in the back with scanner, your little plugs like this. I get down there and focus on it. These little plugs and jacks off of junk. These, the big term is variable air capacitors. If you had an old AM tube radio or something, this is probably the tuner in it in a stereo. Some of these are marked. I've acquired stuff from junk stuff, dumpster diving over the years. Some of these are marked because I do not know how to find the values to these. These are great for making little homemade, uh, there's some homemade wire antenna like loop antennas. You'll put one of these on it to tune the antenna. Uh, just a junk, junk drawer. Dang, it's an old pocket knife spring, just junk. Uh, here's my little resistor chart. You just turn the wheels. tells you the value of the resistors. You used to get these at Radio Shack. I don't know if you can still get them. And the other side had inductors. Now somewhere I have inductors in here. They look like resistors, but they're not. Down in here. They're real small and green. Look like a resistor. See that little green thing? You can see them in there. Not on Telemacro. Those are inductors. But plenty of resistors. Uh, knobs and switches out of radios. There's even some very small switches in here. I have some very small switches that I'm going to be using that to make a conversion. Light conversion. There's like a rocker switch. Uh, like see, here's a bigger rocker switch like out of power supplies. Uh, ooh, stuff. This is more like uh, knobs to hold your radio on the bracket. Uh, like feed through stuff, like to put cables into a box. Down in this tube, there's some of that heat sink compound. Uh, like your finals back your radio, you put that white grease. Say you had a 
General Motors ATI ignition, that module that goes in there. They use that white heat sink compound. You even use it for automotive use. And just connectors, fuse holders. Not all real sorted out exactly because I just don't have enough drawers. Like my bulbs, I got fuses thrown in there. But I'll, I'll find the stuff. Oodles of stuff. Another thing I wanted to show. If you ever have a calculator that's solar, calculator, and it don't work, before you throw it away, take it apart. Most times the battery's still going to be good. Rip this piece out. you got a holder. A lot of these LEDs are 3 volts, and I think these batteries are 3 volts. Or close to it. You can take these LEDs and put on here, and it will light them. I'm going to be doing some experimenting. I plan on one of my radios convert it to LED lights instead of bulbs, and I'm just going to use a battery and a switch. If you leave it on, you're probably going to remember it the next time you see it. These batteries last a long time. I have a bunch more of these. I have some brand new ones I bought on sale like in a Walmart or somewhere. You can buy these batteries for like a buck, buck and a half a piece. They last a long time. Some wristwatches take this big of a battery. Some of them do. That big of a button cell battery. Uh, oodles of stuff. But some of the odd stuff, like these old wire round resistors, when in older stuff, but you might have a project to use them in. I've got uh, really odd, unusual things in here. Uh, like down in here. These are called like a trimmer. When you turn this screw in the end, there's a real small screw. I don't know if you can even see it. When you turn that, it changes the resistance value in the, on these. You may have a project to use them. The capacitors. They're not hard to learn how to test those. There's plenty of books out there to start out. You can get the simple Radio Shack books, start making simple projects. You don't even have to really know anything about electronics to start making simple projects. Years ago, I got the book was making all kinds of simple little things. But this is a lot of years of acquiring this stuff. This is probably... Oh boy, that's over 20 years of acquiring all this junk. Like connectors, I never have to go buy it. I'm down to my last one, SO239 connector. I have the bulkhead type. This is like the radio jack back of your CB. These are called a bulkhead. They just go through a hole for making homemade antennas. Uh, like your big guitar quarter inch phono jack. That should really be in another drawer. But, oodles of stuff. But I will be making a little how-to video. My 2510, uh, you put bulbs in there, you try to find them. We have even went as far as finding 28 volt bulbs, 24 volt, 18 volt. Even on dim, the bulbs just don't seem to last. I'm going to convert over to LED. And I'm not going to do that fancy thing of resistors and all that down to 12 volt. I'm just not going to do it. Resistors get hot and all that other and blah blah blah. I'm going to do it simple way. I'm going to have a battery powered in with a switch. When I want the light on, I'll flip the switch. It doesn't take nothing to take the cover off or replace the battery once in a while. Maybe I'll mount it on the back. Maybe the battery holder be in the back of the radio. You don't even have to get into it. But these holders came out of little calculators. I had that out of there once. Transistors. Uh, you can buy them, of course, all kinds of transistors. Some of these are like the audio driver files, they call it, like out of car stereos and things. Just to have them, I guess. You never know. It makes the drawers look good. But in here, there's all kinds of junk. There's some of the modern stuff in there that has the real small resistors on it. Uh, I don't have a lot of the small glass diodes. I'm going to get me a few little new supply of those, a few of those. I'm going to start looking at projects. And this winter I'll be making little projects. Nighttime with one lamp on out here. I just wanted to get this done so I can get it all back in the cabinet. But I want to make this too long. This just bolt. This needs to be gone through. There's so many junk bolts. 
I need to sort them. I need the little screws in a separate spot, like for your cabinet or your radio. When you take the covers off the CV, you're always dropping a screw or losing it. Fans, just have to find this little miniature fan. I've got fans all over the place. I have fans of different sizes if I ever come across them. I take them out, put them on a the shelf, then I never know where they're at. So I need to get organized. I have a desk that's full of junk. But that's about it. It's a lot of work using one of these. If anybody wanted to strip circuit boards, I'd recommend buying a soldering iron and had the sucker thing on it. If you use that spring loaded thing once in a while, that's all right, but not for stripping down circuit boards. Stripping down, got to get my hook out of the way there. Not for stripping down circuit boards. If you want the soldering iron with the ball, the sucker ball on it, you put it on there, heat it up, and just go for it. That's how I got most of the stuff off of things. But that's about covers it all. Before I put it in there, the drawers in the cabinet, like some of these resistors, these are really small. These are the kind you'd probably use on LED kits. They're real small ones. But either way, you can always use the bigger ones. I have these. Here's some really big ones. Some of this is old stuff. Some of these resistors come out of older radios. They can be on maybe uh, even like some tube type equipment or something. You never know what it has. Some of these are old style resistors. Big, like big one watt. And the bigger they are, the more wattage they handle. That's just the way it goes. These are probably quarter, half watt. Don't quote me. These are very small. They can go up to like this size. But oodles of stuff. So I won't have to be buying much if I come up with some little kits to build. Be saving money on it. That was the whole idea years ago. So I was ever going to start building little projects. But enough of that. This video got too long. Just oodles. It's covering the top of the desk here with all these drawers. But thanks for watching.